This procedure is to replace the liquid in the pump after disassembly or liquid loss for metallic units without visual leak detectors. Remove the two large pipe plugs, one on each side, located in the rear of the innermost air chambers. Insert the safety clip on one side of the main air valve body and cycle the pump at 5 to 10 psi. As you face the pump, the side with the pin should be the first driver fluid reservoir to be filled. The driver diaphragm will be on a suction stroke. Pour the correct amount of liquid into the reservoir. It is important that the exact amount of fluid is used. Refer to your service and operating manual for fluid amounts. Too little or too much fluid can cause premature diaphragm failure and erratic pumping. The fluid level will not come completely to the top. Loosely install the pipe plug with pipe dope ETFE tape or O-ring depending on the pump model. Release all air pressure to the pump and remove the safety clip. The diaphragm will relax and will come to center. Watch the loose pipe plug closely as air escapes and the driver fluid level rises. Insert the safety clip on the opposite side and add a small amount of air pressure. When you see the liquid weeping out between the loose pipe plug and fill hole, tighten the pipe plug. Repeat the procedure for the unfilled chamber. For more information, videos, and literature, please visit our website at sandpiperpump.com.